Hey folks, Jason Biles with OutdoorProductReview.com. Welcome back for the 2014 bow review. Uh, we're continuing on, and real quick shout out to the sponsors is we have uh, Jim Fletcher Archery Releases, a uh, great release we're using the Fletch Hook. Um, we have QAD, which is the Ultra S HDX we're using, same orange rest we've been using on all the bows. And we got Sika gear, uh, you know, great camel pattern. It's great for Western hunting, it's great for Eastern hunting, but they make the best equipment that you could buy when it comes to uh, being out there in the woods, to protect you from the elements. So just like to give a good shout out to all those guys who help us out every year. Um, real quick, the bow that we're gonna be testing today is the PSE Full Throttle. Uh, a lot of people have been asking to see this bow. It's uh, one of the fastest bows in the world, they say. Uh, I think the IBO speed on it is 370 feet per second, and by far that's the fastest bow I've ever tested. And for all of you guys out there that love these uh, the speed bows, um, we're going to give it a good test. All right, let's cover the bow. So like I said, 370 IBO. It's got a five and a quarter inch brace height, really, really short brace height, which is going to make, uh, you know, that's where you're going to get a lot of your speed. Uh, axle to axle of the bow is 33 and a quarter, um, which makes it a nice short bow but yet that real long riser, it's got a real short brace height. And that long riser, it's gonna make it a little forgiving. That short brace height, it's gonna sort of undo that. So we'll see how it goes. All right, their cam on it is the full throttle cam. Really, a, really cut out, lots of cutouts. It definitely reduces the overall weight of the bow. All right, the let off on the full throttle is 70%. All right, we're used to our 80, 85% bows. So you're gonna be holding back a little bit more weight. Um, you know, one of the things with the X-Force models that they've had before, uh, and this is the Pro Series full throttle, but the X-Force ones, is the draw force curve is very steep on them. It's uh, really, really a tough draw. When you're, when you're trying to hold it, it doesn't creep at all because the bow wants to get out of your hands and uh, send that arrow down range as fast as it possibly can. So we'll, we'll see how this one's going to be today. All right, they have the center lock speed pockets for your limbs here. And uh, on both sides, keeps them locked in, they're independent, also has a spacer in between that keeps the limbs equal throughout, so you're not getting any torque on the limbs. They do have a cable flex uh, cable guard here, so when you draw, it flexes with your draw, so it, you know, it stays out of the way, but yet it still gets the tension on it, so it moves back. They do have a cable slide on that, on that cable flex guard, so uh, it's Teflon coated on the side, so it's nice and smooth. It's not going to stick. It's not going to make any noise when you draw back. And follow that out with the X-Tech limbs. Um, coming through all the way down across, you have that beyond parallel limbs, if you will. And then they have their, uh, their vibration dampeners on the limbs itself to help absorb some of the shock. Now, one thing with the X-Force is they have been some of the fastest bows that we've ever reviewed. And... Uh, the full throttle is probably going to be the fastest bow that I have ever shot, um, probably in my life. So pretty excited about testing this bow, and uh, going out through the riser. It's got a lot of you know it's got a lot of cuts out cutouts to try to reduce the overall weight of the bow. But like all the other X forces we've done in the past, um, it has numerous tuning, you know, tools if you will in the bow. It's got markers on the cams here to make sure that your cables align so your timing's perfect. So no more do you have to go and measure from the limb pocket all the way to the string on both sides to make sure your bow's in time. It actually has markers here to line up your cables with on the cams. It's little white markers. Right? Also another thing they have to set up your center shot wise is they have a center shot mark that goes down the middle of the shelf here. And it's basically a notched cutout and it's a center shot. So you know I use the laser to set up as you guys can see in the setup video of this rest. But um, this way you can sort of use your eyes to adjust it, look over the top, and if, you're, if your arrow's in line with this center shot groove that's in the middle of the shelf, it actually helps, uh, helps reduce the setup time when you're trying to set up this bow. All right, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and do the draw test. Um, we're using that 408 grain arrow. Uh, we're using the FOB from Starflight.com. Uh, that's one of the sponsors I forgot to thank, but uh, starflight.com. And you guys will see all the descriptions. You go to our websites for the link to the manufacturers. Fletching only better is what the FOB stands for. Uh, 408 grains on the arrow, real short brace height. And uh, using that quad HDX, here's our, our fletch hook. All we do is put that in there like that. So we'll go ahead and draw the bow. Pretty, 
pretty uh, smooth draw throughout. Not too bad, but there is no valley whatsoever. This bow wants to just leap out of your hands. Try to come forward and I don't have any room at all. I mean, it's right there at the wall and it's ready to go. So you have to really keep this puppy solidly back. Torquing. The bow moves just a hair side to side. Not bad, but boy, keeping this bow held back. Um, there is no, no valley, if you will. I mean, it comes straight back through the draw curve and you're right at the wall. So you don't really have any creeping, which if you're a tree stand hunter, you're gonna really need just a little bit of creep in case you bend over. You know, when you draw this back, I actually might have to shorten this release up just to keep the bow held back. Um, yeah, it's a big downfall for if you're a big bow hunter, but if you're a speed guy and that's what you're really interested in, um, I suggest you go ahead and go ahead and, and look at this bow. Um, it can get you just got to practice shooting it, get used to holding the bow back. There's no there's no play, no no creep, if you will. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot this bow though, and, and see how how it flies. Keeping it solidly set back. Whew, wants to go. Didn't have any hand shock. Didn't have any noise. It went down there pretty darn quick. No hand shock, no noise. Went really, really, really fast. You know, the hard part, like I'm saying, is that there's no ability to creep with this bow, as you guys saw when I came back to full draw. It just wants to take off out of your hand. And that's because it's right at that top of that bell curve, you know, on the, on the draw force, and it just wants to send the arrow so that you don't have to go through any play to get that arrow up to speed. It comes off of the rest already at speed. So when, as soon as you release, that bow's accelerating, or that arrow's accelerating right down range. Definitely uh, no hand shock though. No hand shock. It's pretty smooth to draw. It's not too bad. Sets up perfect right at 29 inches. So let's go ahead and shoot this bow through the chronograph and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so we're going to shoot that full throttle through the chronograph. 408 grain arrow. Three hundred twenty feet per second. All right, folks, there you have it. It's three hundred twenty feet per second, probably three twenty-one because it was like three twenty point eight. Uh, but that's four hundred eight grain arrow. Still, still super fast. Um, no hand shock in this bow, which is something that's amazing uh, for such a fast bow and the way the draw force curve on it. You figure it'd be a lot of hand shock, but there is none whatsoever. The bow is really, really quiet. Um, the downfalls is that you know that valley and it's a solid draw all the way back you get set 70 percent let off so you're still holding 30 percent of the weight and there is no creep whatsoever forward in that um you know nice fast bow uh, i recommend if you guys get a chance go shoot it you'll you'll probably agree with what i have to say um you know overall though the aesthetics of the bow are really nice it's got a it's got a nice look to it Nice short brace height, which makes it small, which would probably be good for one of those backpacks if you're taking it on a backpacking trip. You're gonna get a little bit more speed. Uh, some of the arrows I hunt with are a lot lighter, so I'm sure you would really get a lot faster speed out of it. Remember that IBO speed is a 30 inch draw with a five grains per inch arrow. So that's a lot, lot lighter than what we're shooting out here today. So everybody, you know, you get, you look at the speed and they go, oh, wait a minute, that's not shooting 320 or 370. but you know, in, in, inadvertently, that's exactly how it comes out. Um, shooting 320 at 29 inches, so you're getting, you know, a whole inch off of the draw for the speed, and then it's a lot heavier arrow. It's a lot more than five grains per inch. It's probably eight or nine grains per inch. So that's gonna slow your bow down a little bit. Um, overall, though, it's definitely a good shooting bow as far as the, you know, the noise goes. There's no noise. There's not any kind of hand shock, as you guys saw in the slow motion shot of it. and uh, you know, the only downfall I would have to say, this would be the only hit, is there's no creep whatsoever when you're back at full draw. But you're getting a lot of speed out of this bow. And so far uh, this year, this is the fastest bow we've shot. And 
If you guys uh, get a chance, go over to PSC site, take a look at them, find a dealer near you, shoot it, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, I think you guys will be impressed with the bow. Definitely overall looks pretty cool. X4 series, that's been, been their big downfall is that there's just not really a, uh, it's not a downfall, but it's, that, that's the only thing I don't like about them as far as that is just there's no creep in the bow whatsoever. So, you know, another bow knocked out. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you come over like our Facebook page. We're giving away a bunch of stuff this year. And uh, you can win a quad rest or a release and uh, some fobs, a bunch of fobs. And uh, you guys can try those out as well. So, you know, for the full throttle for PSE, for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas. We'll see you guys on our next bow review.